Are you overwhelmed when faced with completing a big project? And do you have a history of starting projects but not finishing them? Hi, I'm Audrey Thomas with Organized Audrey, bringing you video number seven in my Organizing Fundamentals video series. And today I'm going to recap seven tips to help you have success when organizing any area. So let's just jump right in. Tip number one is choose a project that's going to be fun, easy, or meaningful because they're going to be the areas that you're going to be most motivated in. So for example, something fun might involve a project that's going to involve labeling. If you're like me, you love to label. So you like to label boxes or bins or drawers or shelves. And to you, that might be fun. Um, another example is choose something that's fast like organizing your junk drawer because it's only going to take you 20 minutes or less. And in 20 minutes or less, you're going to have completed a project which will then motivate you to do and take on another project. Another kind of project that would be very motivational for you is to do something that's very meaningful, such as finally completing a photo album or an online Apple album of some kind. Tip number two is prioritize your project. You're busy and you know that things don't get done unless you make time for them. So how do we do that? Well, we prioritize by putting things on our calendars. So maybe you've got a project that you think over the next few weeks, you're going to be able to get done by working on it a couple hours at a time. So on your actual calendar, whether it's on your phone or a paper calendar, wherever you keep track of your time, block off hours for you to work on those projects because that says to you, yourself that this is a priority and this is important. The next tip is become a decision maker. Remember that clutter is a result of delayed decisions. So wherever you have clutter, you have decisions waiting to be made. And I wish I could give you this stamp that allows you to stamp every time you make a decision. But when you're organizing a space, you're going to need to make decisions like, do I want to keep this? Do I need to donate it? Do I need to throw it away? Do I need to recycle it? Can I scan this particular piece of paper? So lots and lots of decisions. The next tip is all about self-care. So when you get ready to start an organizing project, make sure that you are well fed and well hydrated. Um, so have a healthy snack, a healthy meal, have some water nearby when you're organizing because when your stomach starts to growl and it sends you a message that you're hungry, you're going to leave your organizing project, go to the kitchen, and you might get completely sidetracked and not even return to your project. So take care of yourself first. Next up is minimize distractions. We all have distractions in our day and you know what gets you the most often. For me, it's often my cell phone. So I need to completely mute my cell phone and not be tempted to listen in for texts coming in or notifications from social media. So whatever is your biggest distractor, take care of it before you start your organizing project. The next tip is make your organizing project as, as much fun as possible. Now, for somebody who's wired like I am, I get a natural high off of organizing any space, but you might find it really like sheer drudgery. But you also know that once you get an area organized or a project completed, you're going to feel really great about it. So how can you make it fun while you're in the midst of it? Well, maybe you're motivated by music. So turn on some rock and roll music or whatever kind of music floats your boat. All right. If you're a competitive kind of person, why not set a timer for let's say 30 minutes and you tell yourself, okay, how much stuff can I get through in 30 minutes or or can I get this closet done in 30 minutes or how many inches of paper can I sort through in 30 minutes. Another element that might add some fun for you is to anticipate surprises along the way. How old of an item are you going to come across as you're going through that garage or attic or your basement? And sometimes those just really add an element of fun for yourself. And then the last tip that I want to share with you is it's really important to reward yourself. I don't care if you're 14 or 74, what you're doing is changing your human behavior that you've had your whole life. You're learning a new way of organizing and, and, and really keeping a space neat and tidy. And so you need to have some kind of reward to look forward to. And it doesn't have to be expensive. My rewards almost always have to do with chocolate, uh, but maybe a dinner out or a nice glass of wine. All right. You decide what your reward will be and have fun looking forward to it. If you haven't yet uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, would you please hit the red button below? Um, I would really appreciate that. All right, these seven tips that I have recapped for you today are going to help you not only start a project, but see it through to the very end. So I hope you're motivated to get something started today.
I'm going to provide some links here to some of the other videos that are part of this video series in hopes um, that you'll go back and look at those for even more information. I hope you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.